Hey guys, uh, so we all know like uh, recently a new variant of Joker has been found in a Play Store. So it has been affected more than 11 apps uh, as per the info. But uh, in daily we don't know how many apps it has been got uh, affected. So uh, for today, uh, for analysis, I have chosen a app called uh, Photo uh, Zone Camera, which is like one of the apps which got affected from uh, <coughs> Joker malware. So let us go through the like analysis of this app. So first, like let we use, I mean, let us use our uh, Jadax tool to reverse the app. So this is the APK, and now the APK has been removed from a Play Store. So you can't find that APK in a Play Store. So I have extracted it from other sources. So let us reverse the APK first. <coughs> so let us begin our. Uh, investigation okay as soon as like we reverse the first thing we which we will do in the sense like we have to analyze the a manifest file for some appropriate permissions okay com camera okay so this is okay exists it has acting main activity okay so this app is allowing a backup so in uh, allowed backup is not so effective in terms of malware analysis just go through the another okay this doesn't find anything okay service okay http dot service dot okay service let us see okay uh, if we see the source code and the classes uh, which are in the source code we are not able to see the OK HTTP3 services here. So it means that it might have called dynamically when the app is loaded. If the I mean like if if this class is not uh, available in the current source code, so it might have downloaded uh, in some other like other way. The only possible to download a file is in a dynamic uh, analysis or dynamic runtime. So let us load our uh, APK to our uh, Jenny motion. I think I, I have already. Okay, let me uninstall it and let me install again so that uh, we'll get to know. So I have configured the burp here so that we can see the runtime API calls right uh, okay so all set so let me copy my apk to uh, my jenny motion okay uh, my pc is uh, identifying the threat okay let us ignore it okay uh, let us see the bug yeah see uh, it has calling so many so these are let us go through okay <laughs> okay handwritten manifest files so some malicious file or jar or some apk has been downloaded here and we are not able to see okay, this is quite annoying so let me close this app anyhow we have captured the apk i mean uh, the response of uh, api so let me close this app or else the firewall will be prompting me again and again right okay yeah it will go leave it uh, so here something has called i mean like some jar or some file has been downloaded uh, during a runtime so we can see the android manifest keyword uh, if we go down if we can see yeah here also yeah we can see some classes and resource signature key file okay so other than this okay yeah we can see here also some another file okay uh, let us okay let us go to the shell of the device so if we can see uh, and whatever the file or uh, like we call it as a dropper uh, in terms of malware analysis so whatever the dropper uh, which gets downloaded dynamically it will be stored in a data folder of the package name of the app within the file folder let me show okay so data slash data so if we uh, 
see uh, we see the so many packages so let us uh, let me go through that this package this is our package okay so cd com dot camera okay so let me clear this one okay so if we see we can see all these uh, subdirectories inside that package so we are interested in only files because it has downloaded some files so ls la okay yeah ls la so we can see it has yeah it has downloaded something error tags and hey and some other files okay so let us try to uh, reverse those files by grabbing into our main system uh, i have created something called bug dot bug dex directory okay one sec let me fetch all those files to this folder so that it will be very easy for us to analyze so adb pull okay now everything is pulled to bug dot dex okay in this folder so uh, let us go through the uh, first hey file okay uh, let me load it to the my jadax tool okay okay let us go through the manifest okay nothing juicy here let us go through this class uh okay that basic shuffle is doing something okay it's getting same operator okay uh here we have some string uh by looking at this i feel it is encoded with a base 64 so let us keep this so that we'll uh, decode it okay uh you can see from this code we can tell that here uh, it is doing some http request for some particular url so that it will uh, download some okay uh, something so let us first see what is this encoded thing okay let us launch our cyber chef oh yeah i guess we imagine it okay uh, i think we have seen this yeah see it has been downloaded like this is the string that have they have weekly encoded uh using b64 this is the string and the string is this so from this is from this url again uh where it is yeah bub again some jar is downloaded i feel uh, it might be uh, either this a dot tags or uh, ioe let us load the both okay okay sorry we can't load that okay uh, nothing is there in this okay mm -hmm. we could have converted into text to jar and we could have analyzed it Okay, uh, let's okay. Nothing else. Uh, small network. Uh, we'll analyze this network file. Okay, this is just for uh, height, so nothing important here. That is a log. Let us go through this. Uh, w dot a. Okay, okay, we can see uh it has been called okay uh here also it is a load backup and if we see the service portal okay yeah actually what uh is in sense like uh after uh researcher found that the new joker variant they have modified this package uh in the previous package of, like when the like researcher found out it was named over that ok http3 this pack uh, like this class package is the right which we see quarterly services this was uh, written as ok http3 which i showed initially uh, during the apk extraction okay so let us uh, go through this file i mean like this class <laughs> we'll see okay okay 
Okay, so it is calling some function. Okay. Okay, it is calling some function. Okay. So, uh, okay, let us search from 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 our keywords. Like most of the apps will try to do, uh, you know, premium SMS services. So let us try our SMS message. Oh, yeah, like we are lucky enough. Like we got few things. Okay. Yes, guys. Uh, this section of a code. Okay, see, tells that. The Joker new variant is doing the premium SMS services. It is affecting and it is spreading. Well, uh, this is a short video. So what we did in the sense, first we loaded our uh, like in a brief. Let me tell you, we loaded our first our APK. So through through this week, uh, we got to know that something was juicy or something was. Uh, not appropriate by seeing these services this service which has been called because it's nothing is like this class has not been declared here so we run the app dynamically uh and the app dynamically where it asks you so many permissions for us where we captured the uh, like you know api request of the app through above where we found that it has been downloaded some malicious files two times not only one time through which we accessed our uh, shell and we went to our files folder where we found the couple of uh, very interesting files and we uh, went through one by one first we went through the uh, this hey aja file so which helped us to uh, which helped us to get to know the string which has been called so we tried to uh, you know Become um, like uh, I mean, like it was uh, encoded with basic shift four. We decoded it, so we got to know, and we saw we were familiar with this URL through our API call, which has been called, and from here we got to know some other file has been downloaded. So analyzing one by one, we got to know this is the malicious file which has been downloaded. So here we got to know that uh, our app was, I mean, like this. APK was performing premium SMS service fraud, right? Thanks. Thank you so much. See you again.